Welcome to your FolioLink free trial getting started video. This video will orient you with some of the basic functions in managing your site. When you log into your account, you're in an area we call the back end or admin area. The first thing you may want to do is click on preview to see what you've already created in the trial setup steps. When you're done previewing, close the window to return to the back end of your site. In the back end, you have three main tabs across the top of the screen, layout, site content, and more options. The tab where you will do most of your work is the site content tab. When you click on the site content tab, you will see expandable sections listed at the left side of the screen. In these sections, you can do things like add a logo and music, edit your front page, create and manage portfolios, create new info pages, and add supporting files such as PDFs, audio files, small video files, and images to include in your info pages. To add a new portfolio, click to expand the Portfolios section. Here you'll see the portfolio that you created in the basic trial setup steps, with its cover image and the images inside. Click Add Portfolio, enter a portfolio name, and click on the Opening Image tab Click Upload New Image, and then Browse and select an image using the same steps from the basic trial setup. Once you see your image has been uploaded, click Submit. You'll now see your new portfolio at the left side of the screen. Click Upload Images, then Browse and select images to add to the batch uploader. Click Upload. You can see your image's upload progress while the system generates alternate sizes for the iPad, iPhone, and Search Engine Shadow site. Then click Continue. You'll now see the image contents of your new portfolio in the center of the screen. To move images, simply click, drag, and drop them with your mouse. Also note that you can adjust the size of the backend thumbnails to small, medium, or large. To add an info page, click on the Info Pages section then click Add Info Pages. Enter an info page name, then enter some text for your info page and click Submit. To delete an info page, click on its red X icon. With FolioLink, you can easily switch layouts at any time. Click on the Layout tab. At the left side, you'll see a scrolling list of the designs available at your account level. Also notice the drop-down menu where you can view different layout types. The layout you're currently using will be highlighted in green. To select a different layout, just click on the layout image in the scrolling list. When you select a new layout, a window will open showing four image size selection options. During the free trial, we recommend experimenting with both auto and original. Each layout comes with a variety of color themes. Click to select a color theme, then click Preview. All of your site contents will be displayed in the new layout. This orientation covers the basic management options of your trial, but there is much more you can do with a FolioLink account. We encourage you to check out our help menu through the help link at the upper right corner of the screen for more tips and helpful information. If you have any questions or would like to know more about your options with FolioLink, we invite you to contact us by email at info at foliolink.com at